Hi guys, uh, welcome to the first in a four part series on the four key strategies within operations management. Uh, this is the first video, technology. As always, we'll start with the study design, uh, quite a big one for operations here. And this is where we're going for this particular video. Uh, strategies, which are things that you do to improve the efficiency and effectiveness of operations relating to technological developments, including the use of automated production lines, computer-aided design, computer-aided manufacturing techniques, and website development. A couple of things before we move on. Uh, if you wanted to know more about the efficiency and effectiveness part of these uh, elements of the study design, I've done a separate video on that and you can check that out. Secondly, if the study design lists specific techniques or lists specific anything, that is directly accessible. All right, so you've got to make sure that you understand it at that particular level of detail. Just as a reminder on effectiveness and efficiency though, effectiveness refers to the degree to which the business has achieved its objectives, sales, profit, market share, so on and so forth, whereas efficiency is the relationship of inputs to outputs. Let's do a quick recap on the theory of technology. There are five strategies within technology. The first one is automated production lines. Um, think of high volume products like um, cars, uh, shampoo, um, toothpaste, high volume, really, really fast, lots of automation on those automated production lines, lots of robotics, not many humans, or meat sacks, as I like to call them. The second one is website development. Uh, this is a, a really important one because it's the only one that specifically relates um, to service organisations, so a hot tip that will likely come up in the exam, so make sure we can talk to technology in relation to website development. We've then got more manufacturing techniques where we've got CAD, which is computer-aided design, computer-aided manufacturing, and computer-integrated manufacturing. Let's work through those three really quickly. So computer-aided design is where the design process is assisted by computers, uh, and most often in highly technical areas. But even things like a Coke bottle would still be designed in a computer. The second one is computer-aided manufacturing, and that's obviously once the product is designed, it's got to be made, and this is when that process is assisted by computers. And then the final one is, is computer-integrated manufacturing, which is in, if you like, the sum of both computer-aided design and computer-aided manufacturing, where there's robotics and technology involved in the entire design uh, and manufacturing process. Okay. Let's make a link to um, effectiveness and efficiency for each of these. I'm not gonna link it to each of the five different things that technology can do. Um, I've just run out some examples here. More examples can be found in the revision PowerPoint. So let's start with effectiveness. And don't forget, that's the achievement of business objectives. One way that technology can do that is by bringing robotics in. They can perform much more complex tasks with a much higher degree of precision. Sales then may increase due to the customers enjoying the increased quality it comes from that increased level of precision. And think of something like an iPhone, when you've got your iPhone and it is extremely precise in everything that it does, mainly because technology is involved in the manufacturing at such a high level of precision and quality. The second one is efficiency. And don't forget, this is the reducing the inputs or increasing the outputs. That's how you're gonna improve efficiency. And one way you might do that is by bringing robotics in, uh, you're using capital, which in the long term are cheaper uh, than human beings. They also don't need rest breaks, they don't need holidays, they don't complain about working overtime, they can work 24 hours a day. So in the long run, robotics are much cheaper than humans. So you are seeing a reduction in outputs for the input, sorry, for the same amount of outputs, uh, thus improving productivity. So there's just some examples of how technology can improve the effectiveness and efficiency of operations. For the other three uh, strategies, go see my other videos. Thanks guys.